Hello everyone. In this episode, we'll be talking about a product that is very important when it comes to all our solvent-based, epoxy-based and polyurethane products. And that is the Isonem EP Primer. Yes, Isonem EP Primer. It's a two-component solvent and resin-based paint that serves as a primer before the application of our uh, polyurethane and um, epoxy based paints. It has strong abrasive property and it has high adherence. It adheres properly and firmly to the substrate after it's been prepared. Remember, uh, we've stressed in the episodes before now that surface preparation is very key in having that excellent job that you desire. After the surface preparation, if the final finish that you desire is going to be a polyurethane based as has been listed in the previous episodes or maybe any of our epoxy products this uh, the use of the isonem ep primer is compulsory permit me to use that word compulsory if you must have an excellent finish the isonem ep primer soaks into permit me to use the language many of us will understand it soaks into the surface if you're using it on a concrete surface it soaks into it and it reduces the consumption of the final finished paints which can be the liquid glass which can be the floor 2k it can be the metallic floor paint it can be the shine floor it reduces the consumption because now the final finished paint we just have to flow on the EP primer the EP primer is clear uh, some people like to call it transparent um, it's um, 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 it's very hard though it has less UV resistance and the reason is because it's not produced to be exposed to uh, UV lights because it's still expected that a top coat will be applied on it. A tin of the two component isonem EP primer can cover up to 20 square meters and you can use it on numerous kinds of surfaces. You can use it on concrete, you can use it on uh, stamped concrete or increased flooring system, you can use it on tiles, you can use it on marble, you can use it on granite, you can use it on steel, you can use it on um, wood, you can use it on different surfaces. This coating is meant to precede the final finish paint which can be the uh, uh, floor 2k or the shine floor or the metallic floor paint as you see in the video that is showing on the screen that's a site that floor you're seeing is called the stamped concrete floor very beautiful and that glossy finishing that is showing in the video is not the final finish paint it's not even the liquid glass it's not the floor 2k it's actually the ep primer and um it's cost effective reduces the final paint consumption and it is important you use the ep primer before the application of the final finished paint see you in the next episode thank you